A stroll through the driver's meeting will give you some idea of the level of competition. Mike Alexander will be pole sitter at over 107 miles an hour. Grand National driver Rusty Wallace, ASA veteran Butch Miller, and the all-pro winningest driver this year, Gary Baldu. The vacant pole position on this parade lap is in honor of the defending champion, Butch Lindley, whose picture was also on the cover of the program. 36 cars begin the 200-lap contest on the high bank half mile. Baloo moves from inside second row starting position to challenge and eventually pass Alexander on the opening lap. Several cautions will slow the pace for this race. Here, William Wombles in number double zero and Larry Raines in 37 tangle. Red Farmer is already over the bank. Jody Ridley, last year's fourth place snowball finisher, looks strong from the beginning. He takes the lead from Baloo, who's beginning to have tire problems. Meanwhile, back in the pack, Mark Martin and Rusty Wallace, among others, are battling for position, and Mark is a little sideways. This will be the first of a couple of incidents for Charlie Skipper in number 57. Randy Porter is also involved. Daniel Keene's hopes of taking the championship away from Steve Grissom disappear when smoke appears from the number five Camaro. Davey Allison has an up and down day. This second spin doesn't hurt much. As a matter of fact, within just a few laps, Allison takes the lead from Mike Alexander, but then begins to fade and shortly thereafter executes spin number three. Baloo heads for the pits for the final time and is a DNF. Jody Ridley leads the final laps of this race and captures his first snowball. Rusty Wallace and Mark Martin trade paid here. Rusty will end up second. 